I've been a fan of yours a long time, and I actually got your first record right when it came out, um, and was aware of you, you know, as you made records, and thought I knew you just based on the music you were putting out, and then you wrote this book recently called Horror Stories, and I realized I didn't know you at all, and it's fascinating to get a different perspective from inside an artist's experience, because right off the bat in the prologue you say, my songs have been stories that are like diary entries and ways to express my feelings and look at my feelings, and, and the book itself is incredibly confessional and incredibly private. And I wondered what the impetus was for deciding to write that confessionally about things that you never, ha you never had an obligation to tell anybody. And yet, at the same time, I meet so many people that tell me their personal stories because of my music, and I have been um, lucky enough to hear from fans that really have carried me through some of the darkest times of their life and used me as like a friend or a comfort or some kind of sense of that I'm there for them, my music is there for them, and then I speak in a way to the things that they can't speak about. And I think I've always carried that with me from the very beginning as a sense of obligation that people come to me looking for some kind of sense of not being alone or that they are seen or heard or felt. And music has been that way for me as well, uh -huh. like my favorite artists. So I think that I've always had a sense, ever since I put out Exile in Guyville, that people were looking to me for more than just a great song or a great album. There was something more that they responded to in the way I presented myself and that they needed from me. And I think that in the world there's too little of it. There's too little of a sense of, you know, we're in this together and that it's tough to be a human being, and that the plight of humanity is the same at every level. I think that's something that I like to speak about and make art about, just our humanity, our shared humanity, the things that we all have in common. Hey folks, thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, then why not subscribe? Click right here for lots more off camera. And, if you want to see the hour-long version of these conversations, I'm going to give you the secret link. Here it is, offcamera.com. Check it out.